Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back on this September 21st, 2015. Today I'll be talking about Naruto Storm 4 and why is it that the game actually has been delayed to the to the year 2016. The date, February 9th, which is the release date for the US. The 5th being for the UK and the 4th being for Japan. Okay, so reason number 1 why Naruto Storm 4 has been delayed is because they want to make sure the game is running perfectly. 60 frames per second, 1080p, which is a little setting on your um, video that allows you to see everything on HD. Reason number two, they want to create an extra mode. This extra mode consists of basically a rank match system, but in a free roam style, in which if you were to choose, which is my opinion, this is my opinion, if you were to choose enemies to battle, probably like 10, 15, maybe they're going to add more to that, they probably get scattered throughout the map, and then you have to go from village to village searching for these opponents that you have chosen. And besides, I'm pretty sure you can go for more than two rounds. Uh, for more than two rounds with each opponent. I just I guess you just go to your settings and change it So instead of going two rounds you can go three maybe four I hope that's in there because I don't think two rounds is more preferred my thing I prefer four rounds and it seems like um you know be nice to add a system where if you're gonna go for four rounds after the first two rounds the AI becomes a bit smarter in a sense. I hope it actually fights back a bit more and a bit more aggressively because I like games that fight back aggressively I don't know if it's just me but you know, if I fight more aggressively, it makes me just that more, gives me more of a more aggressive push. It kind of like elates me to actually give it more of an aggressive push. So I don't know if that's just me or everybody else. But um, reason number three um, is basically because they want to make sure that everybody gets the full Naruto experience in the game. In other words, they want to create more on character scenery. So when the character gets hit with the ultimate ninjutsu, ultimate technique, they want to give every single character a customizable, you know, um, scene, a, customi a customizable scene in which each character says their own thing when they get hit by ultimate jutsu, like impossible, what, like something like little like small punchliners like that. And besides that, they're also working on boss battles, which is number four, reason number four. They want the boss battles to go more smoothly. They want everything to, to, to scale up in a sense and match up properly. But they're also going to be adding um, some fights that weren't there, like filler fights. They're going to be adding, like, uh, they're gonna, they actually have a Kakashi and Obito team ultimated technique, which was never in the episode to begin with. In any episodes anywhere in the show, I never showed actually have an ultimate. But it has been added onto the long list of ultimates in Naruto Storm 4. We're talking about a game that has over 100 characters. So this is exciting for sure to see something new to be added. But they're going to be fitter fights like the Hashirama versus Sasuke fight. Which never happened originally speaking. But according to what you're saying, to actually add more structure to the game, you're going to add it to Sasuke's story. Because you have two paths to say. You can either see Naruto's story or you can see Sasuke's story like I explained in my last video. Um, and to top it off... Number four is where I left off, where they're trying to basically implement as much as they can. And you actually see that 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 Black Zetsu have... Obito have Black Zetsu. Obito, which is basically Black Zetsu attached to his body. But our question is, will he be a playable character in the game? Chances are he will be. Um, so there are many things here that are going on with the Naruto franchise. They also put up a video that we already saw somewhere around like mid to early August of Boruto and Sarada are showing off their skills. So really, that isn't news to us. But if you want to know when exactly will the game be released, the dates are as follows. For Japan, February 4th. So if you live in Japan, or you want to know the Japan release date, mark that date on your calendar, 2016, February 4th. The UK, February, 20, February 2016, the 5th. That's the date you should be marking you're on the UK. The United States, the last place to be released, um, out of the big continents, of course. This is the last one, out, out, out of the big, um, out of the major countries, February 9th, we'll be receiving our Naruto Storm 4 release date, of course, uh, for 2016. So these are the three days you should mark depending on which of these countries you live in. Um, and if you haven't pre-ordered yet, or if you already have done so, you should probably get to that now. Because don't expect the characters from the last to be there just on luck. Because I already pre-ordered, and I'm telling you right now, they have a strict system now, especially in Microsoft, where if you pre-order something, they have your name on a list and a code next to your name. So they know who pre-ordered and who did not. So, um, thank you for watching this video. I have a lot more Naruto Storm 4 news coming at you, and not just Naruto Storm 4 for the record. I also have other games coming at you. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.